नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू वीएलएसए फॉर ऑल अ हब फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड एन एपिसेंटर फॉर अफोर्डेबल वीएलएसए कोचिंग इन इंडिया टुडे वेरी डेट प्राउड टू हैव विद अस आवर टेस्टिमोनियल स्टूडेंट हु हैज टेकन हिज अ टेकन कोर्स एंड इज करेंटली प्लेस्ड एट द टेक्नोलॉजिकल जेंट सिनॉप्सिस शानवास कैन यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ इन इन मोर डिटेल फॉर आवर ऑडियंस हाय हाय सो आई एम शानवास खान एज यू इंट्रोड्यूस्ड Uh, I have done my B Tech from JP University in Electronics and Communication Engineering, and in the third year itself, I got interested in semiconductor industry. So, uh, like from third year uh, onwards, I started preparing for CAT, and with the mindset of getting into VLSI domain. And in the fourth year, I I cracked the CAT exam, but with very low score. so i again gave the gate exam again appeared in the gate exam and then i finally got into nit rorkela for mtech and i did i am currently pursuing my mtech in signal and image processing and in the first year uh, companies usually come for the internship in the second semester and i have appeared in many in- interviews and then i finally got selected in a synopsis for design and verification engineering post and that's it yes that is very a uh, great to know sir uh, also um, the next question would nice. be like what course did you take uh, at vlsa for all can you explain a bit about it yeah. yeah in the in the first semester i took the vlsa vlsa for all course uh, it was uh, rtl premium verification course i i spoke to rajat sir uh, in the first semester and in the mid of the first semester i took the, this course and it has helped had me a lot in uh, doing the various courses like verilog and uh, digital uh, digital electronics course and uh, doing all this uh, system verilog it has helped me a quite quite a lot and from the first semester onwards uh, i was interested in as i told you i was interested in this uh, digital domain so uh in the mid of the first semester i started uh, this rtl verification course and uh, daily i i took one or two hours uh, for this for the for the lectures okay yeah, uh, so also uh, how is the course work at vlsa for all and how much time did you dedicate like on a weekly basis or a daily basis and like uh, like uh, which helped you crack this interview at synopsis Daily, I uh, I took uh, one to two hours in the evening. Uh, I usually take one to two hours for separately for this uh, for this course. And uh, apart from that, I I mainly focused on my branch also, my branch subjects also, because maintaining high GPA is also beneficial in getting internship. Uh, because I have seen many students who who could not who had good uh, GPA but could not uh, get into the internship. like could not get selected even though they were uh, they were above the cut off mark but still they 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 could not get uh, they could not get the selection okay yeah, so i maintained uh, both both of them yeah. yes that is very true uh, also um uh, how interview experience that you had uh, undergone at vlsa for all helped you Uh, in your actual interview with companies at your college actually i i did not uh, appear in any mock interviews i could not get the time for the mock interviews companies usually uh, usually come like 4 uh, to 5 in in a week so i could not get the opportunity to take the mock test i was doing the mock yes. test with the companies directly <laughs> yeah okay yeah. Uh, also uh can you summarize in the end like how rajat sir like the like, guided you in your journey here at vlsa uh, industry yeah yeah he's he's very good man he he helped me a lot and it uh, he every day he take the update classes and he always uh, motivates us to complete the course as as soon as possible he maintains that pressure that, that should be there for every student and the pressure should be there yeah yes uh, also uh, what would you recommend uh, uh, if uh, for an aspiring masters mtech or btech student who is watching this video 
Uh, for aspiring B Tech student. M Tech and B Tech student also. M Tech and B Tech student. For B Tech student, uh, I would say take the take any coaching related to Verilog or System Verilog. Do the relevant courses and and uh, try in the companies. For M Tech student, I would say maintain GP also because I have seen my fellow partners uh, getting so much struggle here because of low GPA and not that much low. Uh, you should get uh, above eight point five or nine to get uh, to get good calls in the internship. So, so maintaining good GPA is also important here in M Tech courses. For B Tech, I don't know much about uh, the GPA part, but in M Tech, I've seen this. So maintaining okay. good GPA and having the relevant knowledge of the courses is also beneficial. Yeah, it should be. Okay. It is compulsory. Yeah. Uh, also, do you want to say a few words about uh, the VLSA for all uh, and its initiative? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I would say th thanks to the Redesser and uh, a big thanks to VLSI for all team for providing the for providing the relevant courses at such a low cost. Yes. Uh, also, before I wrap up this testimonial interview, uh, could you please yeah. give some motivation tips to our viewers so that after watching this, they can feel more uh, more energized and like do their work completely. Motivational tip: <laughs> just do the just do the regular work uh, and be disciplined. Uh, discipline is the key for everything. I think <laughs> making a yes, yeah, you know, maintaining the. Uh, maintaining a timetable is also important. If you regularly give two hours for for the coursework of your M Tech or B Tech, whatever, and two hours for uh, this uh, course, it would be easy. It's not that much tough. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, so this is so 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 this is our testimonial interview, guys. Uh, until then, uh, next time signing off. This is Anurag. And thank you, Mr. Shanawas, for taking up this testimonial interview with us. And hope to see you in another video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anurag. Thank you.